This is the textbook example of a quadratic loss function. So in general, we have some loss function that is a function of the true value, y, and our guess, g. In this case, We'll consider when the true value is 100. So I'll just plug in 100 and think of our loss as a function of our guess, g. And in particular, we're looking at this quadratic loss function, which takes the difference between the true value and our guess, and squares it. So if we think of different possible guesses, and we look at the true value of 100, uh, if we were to guess 100 exactly, we would have 100 minus 100, which is 0, and we would just get 0, so that's there. And then that will be the, the minimum of this parabola, because this is a quadratic function. So it'll sort of, uh, forgive my poor drawing, come down, and bottom out, and then go back up. So there's two properties in particular that you can notice from this shape. Uh, one is that if we go out some distance to the right, and then we see what loss we get there, and we go out that same distance to the left, and we go up Sorry, it's not totally straight. And see what we get there. We will have the same loss. So it doesn't matter whether we guess too high or too low. It just matters by how much we're off from the true value. And then the second property we can see is if we take some point halfway in between the true value and this point on the right over here, and we follow it up to see the loss there, if we, we can see when we go twice as far or twice as wrong, instead of having the loss just be twice as big, the loss is actually four times as big when we get twice as far. And we can see as we continue to go out farther and farther away from the true value, it starts to go up even more steeply and more steeply. So that's the other property that this quadratic loss function has.